Now for the women. Final event, the women's four by 400 meter relay. LSU, through 20 events, leading 43 and a half points. Oklahoma in second with 42, and Texas A&M in third with 39. Oregon in fourth place with 38 points. You have Texas A&M, and you have Oregon a part of this in lanes five and six. LSU, no more scoring opportunities. They've got 43 and a half points. Oregon, four and a half points behind the Tigers. Texas A&M also four and a half points behind LSU. So it will come down to the four by four. So whoever wins. Isn't this an amazing meet? This is a sensational, sensational track meet year in and year out. And there is Texas A&M. And take a look at that, a change in the lineup. That's Jenna Matarmo on the first leg for Texas A&M. So they are throwing all the chips in here. Jenna Matarmo, who's had a disappointing competition here, did false start in the 100 meters, did not run well in the 200, but she's leading off in the four by four. An interesting development here. Oregon has not changed their lineup at all. It'll be Andrea Sutherland passing off to uh, May Young, May, uh, excuse me, to uh, Okadobi, and then on to Phyllis Francis, and the anchor will be Laura Raisler, their 800-meter runner who can drop down and run very well at 400. Michelle Williams from Oregon will be the leadoff person. And the lane assignments, North Carolina, Florida, Penn State, Tennessee, Texas A&M, Oregon, Auburn, and Kansas. Now, one thing that Texas A&M has going for them, they have Jessica Beard, 400-meter champion, international experience there at world championship level she will be running their anchor leg remember whoever wins this race will win the national championship oregon and texas a m are tied at this point a big gamble for a m with tarmo on the lead leg they need a fourth place finish to come up with five points to overtake lsu for the national yeah, title exactly it's that simple for texas a m and oregon Breaking out the big guns. They Jenna Tarmo. They hope. They hope. Oregon, the defending champion in this event. Texas A&M had the fastest time in the heats. Texas A&M has won back-to-back -back national crowns. Can they make it three in a row? Tarmo starting things off in the women's 4 by 400 meter relay. Now remember last year, Oregon and Texas A&M, it was a fight to the line, which Oregon ended up winning. And there you have it. Jenna Matarmo on the right side of your screen for Texas A&M. Michelle Williams from Oregon. They're running stride for stride right now. So it's Tarmo and Williams. Auburn also in the mix. CC Williams. You know, Auburn, I think, is out in the lead, but <laughs> who's watching that because of the team championship? Auburn with a great first leg by CC Williams out in lane number seven. You see her in the front of the screen. She's running really well. Tennessee also running well. Andrea Sutherland for Texas A&M is slightly ahead right now of Michelle Williams of Oregon. So Tarmo hands off. My yeah. young bay will now take the stick for Texas A&M. Florida also running well out of lane number two. Oregon has dropped back a little bit. They need to do some work to get back into the lead, but it looks like Auburn will break for the turn for the inside in first position. And Texas A&M is in the second position. Okadobi for Oregon. Mayungbe for Texas A&M. Again, who finishes fourth or better between these two and they can win a national championship? Okadobi from Oregon is moving up on the outside. So right now, A&M and Oregon are number two and number three. Oregon pushing to second position, attempting to, that is. Oh, Okadobi, excellent job in that second leg. And now it'll be Phyllis Francis for Oregon and Andrea Sutherland for Texas A&M. Phyllis Francis from Oregon snuck in right on top of um, Collier from Texas A&M. Now watch Francis here. She's a very good 800 meter runner for Oregon in second place. If she gets overtaken, she's particularly strong in the last 100 meters in a 400. And that's Angela Sutherland 
from Texas A&M moving to the outside. Probably not the smartest move to move on the turn, but she feels like she's got enough, and she has swung wide to get some room to run in on the home stretch. Remember, Auburn well out in front. Texas A&M has the big name anchor in Jessica Beard. Oregon will go with Laura Rossler, the freshman. It's Rossler for Oregon. It's Jessica Beard for Texas A&M, and a national championship is on the line. Jessica Beard has gone straight to work. She has gone into second position, and she has set her sights on winning her second national championship. The question is, has she gone out too hard? Auburn has a huge lead at this point. Joanna Atkins is going to wrap this thing up probably for Auburn, but look at Beard go. Absolutely. Look at Beard. She's not thinking second and a title she wants the victory for AM. now did she go out too hard or will she have something left all right jessica beard a complete eruption here for texas a&m it's beard trying to muscle her way for the win in the four by four either way it's texas a&m a three-peat for the aggies what a performance by beard texas a&m has come through again that woman wanted that race and she went out and she got it and she gutted it down the home stretch they were running neck and neck but she held on what a fantastic senior year performance for jessica beard now going into the last leg here we see Texas A&M is in third position. You don't even see Auburn. There they are, well out front. But Jessica Beer decides that I am going for number one. She takes over Oregon in the first turn, and she sets her eyes on Auburn. You know, she's not chasing a woman who's not talented. The woman in the lead for Auburn is the 2009 400-meter champion, Joanna Atkins, and Beer just stalks her down. She pulls away from Rossler back in, in third place, and, and they wind up with the title. But look at this move on a pass to NCAA 400-meter champion, the great Jessica, Jessica Beard, who wound up on the cover of the stories they did, the feature story of who will win the NCAA on track and field news. And that woman right there who runs a gutsy home stretch ran a split of 49-14 for the win for Texas A&M. Take a look at Beard on the left side of your screen, how relaxed she looks. That's how she was able to win this race. Auburn had Kai Selvin. They made a change in that final leg, and apparently it cost them. It's irrelevant now. Texas A&M, the three-peat belongs to the Aggies. Here's Dan. All right, Jenna, but a rough meet for you. Didn't go exactly the way that you saw it, but you contributed nonetheless for this three-peat. What did it mean to win that 400-meter, 4x400-meter relay at the end? It meant a lot. We did it for the team. We wanted a three-peat, and that's never happened in the NCAA history, so it meant the world to all of us. Could you think of any better person to have on the anchor leg than nope. Jessica Beard? Nobody else. I mean, probably like Sonia Richards or something or Allison Felix, but we got Jessica. We're more than glad. Jessica, with 150 meters to go, you look like you didn't hold anything back. What were you thinking at that time? Um, team, team, team. I kept looking at the scoreboard and so I'm um, trying to see what Oregon was because I know we had to beat them. And then once I thought they were kind of fading back, I kind of just wanted to do it for the team, get a relay title and end off a good day. So. You said you remembered your first title like it was yesterday. What will you remember about this title? The 4x4 four four and all the mishaps we had, and we still came out on top. So, Great, pe great piece about Pat Henry early on. What does he mean to this team? Oh, he's so valuable. Coach Henry told us, you know, it might come down to the relay, and he was right. So he knows what he's doing. He knows what he's talking about. It's a great coach. All right, congratulations. Texas A&M National Champions 2011. And there's the trophy, and Texas A&M is getting used to hoisting it. 49 points to wrap it up here at the 2011 NCAA Outdoor Track and Field Championships.